Today I'm going to show you how to conduct a test paper in Google Classroom using the assignment option. This tutorial is exclusively for teachers. So here you can see a classroom I have created that is Mentorcraft's test class. So I'm going to jump into the classroom. Okay, it's there is nothing happened in the classroom yet. It's a fresh classroom. So I'm gonna go to the classwork and create an assignment here. So this is a test paper. As I told you, so gonna click the plus button here, then click on assignment. So you need to give a title to the test paper and give a description as well. Then, what you need to do is you need to attach the question paper. I have one question paper ready here in my mobile device, so I'm gonna attach it by clicking the paper clip button. So here you have the option to take a photo and upload a file and give a link also upload a file from the drive so here I'm using the option file upload a file from this device so click on file so I have this question paper right here it's in PDF format so the question paper is already uploaded here you can see that's a simple sample question paper for class one dot pdf if you are uploading a pdf question paper make sure all students have a pdf viewer installed in them on their mobile device so you can have that those kind of instructions prior to the examinations also here i'm going to give them 20 points for this uh, test paper say the next is the due date so the due date is the date of examination so i'm going to give the due date as the date of examination which is 3rd of august 2020 that's okay the time should be when you want your students to upload the answer sheets to the google classroom so that is here i'm giving it's a 9 to 10 examination so i'm just giving them um, 15 minutes more to take the photographs and upload it to the Google Classroom. So I'm gonna give them 10:15 a.m. Cool. It is always recommended to give them enough space to finish their exam and take their photographs and upload uh, it into the uh, Google Classroom. Now it's all set. So the next thing what you need to do is you need to schedule the the post of the question paper in into students accounts. For that you need to do what you need to do is click on the three dots on the top right hand corner and then schedule. So there I want to schedule it for Monday 3rd of August say uh, 8.58 a.m. So I'm gonna click on the date schedule for 3rd of August okay so it should be 8 58 say so, yeah okay 57 that's fine okay so but at 8 57 the question paper will be posted on uh, the student's account so I have scheduled this so that's all so this is what you need to do as a teacher to upload the question paper uh, write a description of your test paper and then schedule it to post it on a particular time on each and every student account so here you are seeing the student account the student is a part of a classroom called Metrograph's test class uh, here you have given a, a new assignment which is a test paper when it is posted in the student's account the student need to do is you need to click on the assignment there you can see the description the title and everything for this assignment so this is the sample test paper which has 20 points and the sample question paper the question paper is attached uh, as a pdf file with it so what you need to do is to write the examinations you need to click on the question paper you can see the question paper on your screen as per the instructions from the teacher, the student need to write the answers on a piece of a 4 size sheets, the answer sheets. So it is done. What you need to do is you need to take a photograph of the answer sheets and upload 
it back to the Google Classroom. I'll show you how to do that. So you need to go back to the assignment there and then you have the your work option at the bottom. So just swipe it up. There is an option for you to add the attachment. There you have the option to take photo. Click on take photo. Then the your camera will be switched on. Then you can see that there's a piece of paper and this is the page one of your answer sheet. So what you need to do is you need to focus on the sheet and take a photo. So and click the tick sign and that will be uploaded. Your photo is uploaded. But imagine you have multiple pages to upload. So what you need to do is click on add attachment again take photo and take your second page and take photo then press the tick sign and the second photo will be uploaded your second file is also attached so what you need to do is press the hand in button then you'll get have a message says two attachments will be submitted for sample test paper so press the hand in the two attachments will be submitted to the teacher as the answer sheets of this test paper so this is the students needs to do as a response to the test paper back to teacher's account let's see if any student has submitted their work so if you go back to, to the classroom you can see your assignment right there click on the assignment there you can see one of the student has handed in the answer sheets so once the test paper is over before the deadline all students must return their answer sheet to the teacher once they return their answer sheet, the teacher can see the list of students who have returned their answer sheets, whether they returned on time, all those things can be seen on this page. In order to see a particular student's work, that means their answer sheet and assess the answer sheet, the teacher needs to do is just click on that student's name. There, the student, you can see the student has submitted uh, two answer sheets as the response to this test paper if you click on the first sheet you can see what's the content of the first sheet so on the top you can see an edit option with a pen symbol so if you click there you can see the pen the control panel at the bottom where you can choose the color of your pen and the thickness of your pen and then do some markings like this and if you want to zoom your page you can pinch and zoom the image and do proper markings on that page so this is very easy for teachers to do the markings on mobile device than the air laptop or desktop computer once it is done the teacher needs to click on the three dots on the top right hand corner and click save once saved you can see an edited version of the first file on the bottom so the next is edit or access the second sheet sent by the student so click on the second sheet and there this pen take the pen and make the corrections it's as simple as that and then click save there you can see the edited version of the second file is also appeared on the screen at this stage i'm going to take you back to the student's account to show you something very important this is the student's account you have already edited and saved the student's answer sheets. At this point, if the student 
comes back to his account and visited the assignment. I will show you what he can see there. If you go into the school student's account, if you go back, go to the that particular assignment, click on the assignment. There, you can see the edited version of the answer sheets, which is ready for the students to view. Students can easily view the corrected answer sheets before you return the work to students. This is not an ideal method. As teachers, you wish to return the corrected answer sheets to your students on the day of the result release. So, to avoid this or to make this file invisible to students, you need to do something a bit tricky. I will show you how to do that. So, we will go back to the teacher's account again. Yeah, we are back on our assessment page. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the two edited files disappear from student's account. In order to do that, you need to click on the edited version of the first file. Once it is appeared on the screen, you can see an arrow pointing to the northeast direction on the top right hand corner of your screen. Just click on that. That will open the particular file in Google Drive where you have the three dots on the top right hand corner. Click there and click on the share option on the top. There at the bottom you can see who has access. There just click there. Then on the list you can see the teacher has access to his teacher is the owner of that file and there is a second the the class has access to it and also the student at Mentorcrafts. The student is also have access to that particular file. So what you need to do is click on the I button and there is an option for you to remove the access of that particular file for the student. In order to do that, just click on no access. Now we have removed the access of that file for that student. So you need to do the same thing for the second file as well. Now you can open the edited version of the second file go to the drive version click on three dots click, sh click share and then who has access let's see who has access to it and then remove the student now if you go back to the student account you can see the access to the evaluated answer sheets for the student has been removed let's check now we are back in the students view when you click on the test paper the assignment and your work you can, now you can see both the edited version of the versions of the file has been removed from the student account and only the a name called drive file is shown there if the student clicks on the drive file it goes nowhere but some of the mobile devices will allow you to click on that drive file and it will send an access request to the teacher this teacher doesn't need to approve that access request if the teacher approve those access requests the student will be able to see that these files again which is not acceptable let's go back to the teacher's account once the teacher completed all these steps including editing the answer sheets and removing the student access from the google drive to the answer sheet the teacher can move on to the next student and do their corrections it is strongly recommended to write down the marks of each student
on a piece of paper until the result is published whenever the teacher wants to return the answer sheets with marks to the students the teacher needs to click on each student work like this and then add the mark say 18 here then press the return button so the edited file will be returned which means the corrected answer sheets will be returned to the student so this is all about conducting examinations using assignment option and correcting answer sheets and returning the corrected answer sheets with marks to students thank you so much